Hi again, this is Mitch from uh, sunny Florida where you can fly seven days a week, 365 days a year. Okay, I want to discuss with you a project that, that I completed. This is the F-117 Stealth, okay? Now, what's unique about this one, uh, there's a lot of models on YouTube. <coughs> I vacuum formed this model. What I did, I had a testers, 132 one thirty second scale uh, F-117 model and I went ahead and vacuum formed the top part of the mo model okay and uh, I had built one of these F-117s before and I did it it was a scale F-117 and I cut out all the pieces to the panels and it was really a headache to build it and uh, cover it and and when once I flew it, I cracked it up a couple times and had to redo everything. But the cowling, this uh, vacuum form plastic part, it's really, you know, pr fairly lightweight. I think it weighs 20 grams, okay? And uh, it works fine. It works great. Now, the rest of the plane is built out of Dollar Tree foam board, okay? I've got to rotate it. I know I won't have enough view in my enough room in my viewers, so I apologize for that. But it's built out of Dollar Tree foam board, rounded all the edges, I paper wrapped those, have a V-tail, have uh, my Elvon control here so I get thrust vectoring with this setup. Okay, so starting from the back end here, I have a Hextronic uh, 20-gram, 2300 kV motor. These are great motors. They put out between 200 to 300 grams of thrust. Uh, I'm using a 6.3 prop, and it puts out about 220 grams of thrust. Okay? I have a 10 amp escapement here. My FlySky six channel radio receiver is here, and I'm using a 300 milliamp battery pack, 7.4 volts. Okay? So um, that's a basic setup on the plane. And let me go ahead and button this thing up here for a minute. I have use a glove here in the front, front part of my nose, slides in there. Do that. And I have two magnets on the back to catch that. And then I have these little hooks on the side to give it a little bit more security, keep it flat against the airframe. Okay, so here's my controls on this. Oh, whoops, something just snapped. Oh, I had it binding down here. Ah, okay. So, there's my controls. What's going on here? I had something bind. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, let's try that again. There you go. Okay, got it fixed. Okay. There is my L. And that gives you thrust vectoring, and it really makes it sensitive. I keep it on low rate when I'm flying it. Okay? And here I'll start to prop up here. Now I can barely hold that thing. That's how much thrust it puts out. It will go vertical. You can, you can launch it, absolutely launch it vertically, and it will go straight up in the air. So it's a pretty decent little flyer. It's lightweight. It weighs 155 grams. Okay, the motor puts out with a 6.3 prop about 220 grams of thrust. So you can see the thrust to weight ratio is pretty good. Okay, and I told you what that motor was. I've been looking for them on eBay again, but I can't find any more 20 gram motors like that. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled for those. Uh, nothing more to discuss on this thing except it's a uh, nice flying plane, uh, fairly easy project, especially with the vacuum form top. And uh, let's see if there's anything. Oh, here's my servo installation. I have two 4.5 gram servos on the bottom end here. And uh, there you go. Oh, a cheater hole here, a little cheater hole here, get some air inside. And that's my F-117, F-117 Stealth Fighter. Uh, all the decals are printed out on the computer and glued on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, 
Good luck, you guys, on your projects, and good flying.